Jeff and I are trying a new sushi place today and I'm already like in love with it and I haven't even eaten anything yet. I'll show you the menu because I wasn't planning on filming this, but oh my gosh, the food on this menu looks amazing and the prices are great. So I'm going to show you a little bit of this. That is really nice. It's really mild flavor, the smooth finish. It's really nice. Jeff and That's I nice. Admiring the light. The texture. The, uh, caviar on top. This looks good. I'm gonna try a piece of that hootie by itself. You gonna try a bite of it? Yeah. I will try it with the crab like it is. Oh, I just want to taste it by itself. To see oh, how like it nibble tastes. a little yeah, bit? Just yeah, just a little. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> oh, thank you. So, Jeff is trying to eat Honestly. I like it. You like that? It's sweet. It's different. It's creamy. He's gonna eat the whole spoon now. It's a big bite. Texture weird. You had a pause like uh, there was a big vinegar kick. There's bus there's um a balsamic on top. I didn't expect it. That's the pause. Oh okay. The crab is very very chewy, very flavorful. Like it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You don't expect it. It tastes like the ocean. It's salty and. I almost wish the crab wasn't with it because it overpowers it a little bit. Yeah, that's why I tried the uni by itself. But it's really good. Mm -hmm. Bite? Bite. Bite. Your eyes went up. <laughs> a lot of flavor in there. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah. I'm usually not a hamachi fan. I don't like yellowtail. So I'm gonna, I'm interested to see how I like this. And I'm gonna do it without any soy sauce first. That truffle is lovely. You can see the piece of shaved truffle on top. It said white truffle, so I think there's a truffle oil in it too, but that's black truffle. I think because the himachi is grilled first, like slightly seared, I like it a lot. Plus it's a smooth himachi. It doesn't taste really fishy, and himachi yellowtail usually tastes like fishy to me. This is good. Okay, there is... The Angus roll. Angus roll. Angus beef roll. It looks like it's jalapenos on top too. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. I'm going to let Jeff be the first one. That looks gorgeous because it's fairly seared. That's exactly how I like the beef. Mm. Yeah, for real? A lot of things. A lot of things? Mm. So good. Very happy. That's really good. It reminds me of eating like stir fry, but in a in a maki roll form. Almost like beef stir fry because of the rice. 
that's really good. I like this one too. Nothing's overpowering here. Nothing is like, you get flavor, but not too much. We got the black sesame creme brulee with uh, red bean ice cream. Red bean ice cream. And it says, enjoy. But when they put it down, they put it this way, and I was reading it this way, and I thought it was some Japanese word that I didn't know. <laughs> so, I'm a goober. Yanu. Yanu, yanu. And this does not come with it, that's just I know, I just kind of... He's just being cute. Cute little spoons. Little bee spoons? Little bee spoons. Oh. Little bee. This is my favorite part. That's your favorite part to crack it? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's dark. Look at it. It's a lot richer than a normal creme brulee custard. It kind of has a bit of a fudge flavor to it. Tastes so like fudge to you? A little. It tastes like butterscotch to me. Let's try the red bean ice cream. Ooh, I like that. I like the ice cream. Reminds me of like caramel or butterscotch. There's something else that it reminds me of and I can't put my finger on it. That is an interesting flavor. It's delicious. It's got a little bit of a texture to it too. Is that bothering you? Because I know you're a texture no. guy. No. Does it remind you of smelling a what? tree bark in uh, Williams? It does! Because it smells like butterscotch. Mm -hmm. Fun fact if you guys are ever in uh, northern Arizona near Flagstaff, all the pine trees have a rich butterscotch smell to the to their bark. And he's not kidding you. I'm, I, she would have lost money. I would have. Insert that video here. Jeff is showing me that some of the trees here smell like butterscotch. Butterscotch. I don't believe him. So. All right, go ahead, smell. Let's smell the tree right there right where your there. finger is. Oh my god! I told <laughs> you, didn't I? <laughs> I don't know why, but Whoa. they smell like butterscotch. Yeah, it really it does. It really smells like out, like the definition of butterscotch. It's like those little Werther's candies. Yeah. Awesome. Smell the tree. Life hack. It's super rich. That is very flavorful. <laughs> this is the bill. This is one of our rolls. Those are the two crabs, uh, uni spoons. That's seventy Charcoal, bucks, right? The Angus beef and the creme brulee that we got. Yeah, seventy-four sixty-nine. Not bad. It is hot. It's warm. Can you see the gauge on my car? 109. It's 109. So that was really good. That was an impromptu lunch. I got a really nice tip and I thought, you know what, we're hungry. We don't have a lot of food at the house right now because we usually grocery shop on Sundays or Mondays. So let's go get some lunch. Jeff's like, you hungry? I'm like, I'm hungry. So we decided to try a, a sushi place and it was delicious. Yeah. And the shrimp, their, their shrimp tempura is some of the best in the Like not oily or greasy at all. Crispy, delicious, Perfect. tender. So I would recommend that. We're definitely going to go back and try some other things. Jeff finally got to try some sea urchin. I yeah, like that. Great. Really smooth, it melted in your mouth, and sweet. It's very good. I like sea urchin, but it's it's. It's definitely a delicacy. I've watched a lot of people eat sea urchin on, on shows on YouTube. Well, you finally got to do it. Yeah. One of these days we're going to have to go to Japan and like have the real thing. Oh, yeah. We, we have put that on our bucket list now. Tokyo Disney is on the bucket list. Hope you guys like that. Welcome to Sudden Stops. That was one of our actual sudden stops. Yeah. <laughs> like we suddenly decided sudden to stop. stop and have some lunch. But we're going to go to Bluebell on Monday, so you guys, the next video you see after this one will be hopefully the Bluebell Factory, which again, I've never been to. And then we got tickets for something in September that's going to be really cool and definitely unique, and you guys can come along with us for that. So have a good day. Remember Sudden Stops, do make the best adventures and the best meals. Nom nom.